Hello, I'm Justice Good, and today I'm going to show you how to use the high pass filter to achieve three different looks. First off, you want to duplicate your layer so that we can work non destructively. The first use of the high pass filter that I'm going to show you is sharpening your picture with it. And the difference between sharpening it this way and a regular filter sharpen is that this way will only sharpen the areas of interest. So head over to Filter, Other, High Pass. Now you notice the lower we go, it just it's just gray. This gray, this specific gray is exactly in between white and black. It's a perfect gray. And when you set this on overlay or soft light, it doesn't do anything to the layers below. So as you can see when we go up a little bit to one pixel you get these white and black burn marks on the edges of the photo. But most of the rest of the picture just stays gray. So you can imagine when we set this on overlay that it only affects the areas of interest. As you can see the further you go out the more spread out the edges get. So to sharpen it let's leave it at a radius of about one to two depending on your picture and set the blending mode of this layer to overlay now you probably can't notice because you didn't see the original picture but there's without and there's with it's definitely sharper but as you can see the sky and the rest of the photo doesn't get sharpened too much because there's no edges now the second way you can use this is to increase contrast on the subject. So duplicate your layer again to test this out. And we're going to head over to filter other high pass. But this time we're going to raise the radius up to more like 50. So as you can see, it kind of creates a glow on the subjects, but leaves the rest of the area grayed out. So when we set this on overlay, you can see it only increases the contrast of the areas of interest, but the sky and those areas stay the same. And you can adjust the opacity of that layer and use these in combination but sometimes you don't want too strong an effect so adjust the opacity as to how you like. Now the third effect that we can create is a combination of the high pass filter set on a very high number and a color balance layer. This is going to create a natural vignette and then the color balance layer will increase the color. So if you go to filter other high pass and keep going up from your 50 to about maybe around 100 you can see how it short sort of creates a gray vignette and a soft white glow on the subject this might not be the intended use of high pass but if you use this in combination with a new adjustment layer of a color balance it can create a nice dramatic vignette. So for the shadows, let's turn the blue up a bit. Not too much. And for the highlights, let's turn the yellow and green up a tad. And as you can see, the grays are easily influenced by the color balance layer to take on whatever color you choose for them. There's before and after. Now the high pass filter is mainly used for selective sharpening, but those are a few other things you can do with it. If you like this tutorial, check out these previous tutorials and subscribe to my channel for future ones. Thank you.